What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Exciting vlog. We're working on the CRV today. I just got to tiptoe around everything. As you guys can see, I was out with the Spoonius one yesterday. Had a fantastic time driving it. Uh, we gave her a couple rippers, boys. Uh, played with some cars, you know, the usual. But uh, I want to show you guys what we're finally doing on the CRV today. Uh, been waiting. I've had it since before winter, but it got too cold, and I was like, you know, I'll wait after the winter. So I want to show you guys right now. We're gonna be sh wow. We're gonna be installing the 2005 G Grand, uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee front lower splitter lip whatever you want to call it on the 2005 Honda CRV now I want you guys to know that there's a lot of videos on it but for the first gen CRV and I've been told you kind of replicate the same way you install it on that but I'm going to show you guys how to do it with Mercer because we got to go do an oil change on the CRV like ASAP uh, and we're bumping up the grade to 1030 since it is getting nicer weather and I notice it is it's lasting a lot better than the synthetic M's oil but it's still burning nonetheless so maybe a, a thicker grade will help it or slow down even more usually when it's burning oils it's usually the bottom end is just burning oil so it is what it is guys um, keep riding it until it needs another engine then we'll just go with the JDM version so till then it's still running strong amazing this thing cracks VTEC almost every day. I mean, that contributes to burning oil too. But yeah, uh, every time I hit an on-ramp, I'm stretching it on the CRV. So yeah. Guys, I'm super excited. Finally going to be putting a front lip onto that bad boy right there. You guys see that? Right there. It's going to look so complete now. So I'm going to load up everything. I got to take out some stuff out of my CRV and then make our way to get a coffee, breakfast, and Mercer's. Also, are you guys liking the spoonious one's rims? Ugh, Fiat killed it on this. I love it. All right, boys, enough. Let's get back to work. Boys, now that we got our breakfast and, and coffee situated, by breakfast, I mean I just got a 10 pack of Timbits. Uh, they're just ridiculously busy, and I'm not going to wait for a breakfast sandwich. So I got some Timbits. I got my coffee. Now we're making our way. Also, when I get to the shop, I want to show you. Something unprecedented happened to the CRV yesterday by dumb luck. So, yeah. I'll show you guys when I get to the shop. Kind of ticked me off, I'm not gonna lie. But then, it's like, you know, you can't be mad forever. Once it happens, it happens. So, you know, guys, allow yourselves five minutes to get mad, go through all the fields, and then after that, cut it off. That's it. You can't change what happened. So, that's what I did. And, uh, I, I kind of like the way it looks, so now it's like I kind of wish I did the, the other ones. So, you'll see when I get to the shop what I'm talking about. But uh, I'm just holding on to this clip still because we're about to enter the highway of Mexico. And if no one does get in front of me, we'll be able to do a pull for you guys. Uh, crack a little tech in the V. Oh yeah, as you guys can see. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Going down, boys. Going down. Eleven minutes later. All right, boys. Just pulled up to Mercer's. Uh, he's not here yet. He's almost here. So what I wanted to show you guys. Uh, fix my hat. <sighs> As you guys can see, this is a completely different tire on the Typey, as opposed to the Nexans. And yeah, I think we got another seized caliper, but uh, we'll find out once it's on the hoist. But yeah, as you can see, I got Nexan tires all the way around. And now I have a Cooper tire. Well, that's because some jackass that was driving in front of me with a bunch of scrap and everything, a piece of wood fell off the back of his pickup truck. I couldn't avoid it. I mean, I missed with the left, uh, the front left, hit it with the right left, and didn't know that there was uh, a puncture in it. So obviously driving home with the family in the car 
and drove on the highway and everything. The car swayed a bit, but I thought maybe it was just the slope of the road. Until I got home and I seen the tire was on the ground. So, and the what makes it matters worse is it was right here, right here. Like not physically right here, but you know what I mean. On this section of the tire, so obviously I couldn't repair it and I needed a tire, so. Man, I went to go get another tire. But now, I'm looking at this Cooper tire and I'm like, man, it looks so meaty. Same size, same everything. Just looks so much meatier and nicer. Your boy's thinking, maybe I should go back to Canadian Tire and get three more <laughs> to even it out now at some point and then, you know, have these Nexons as spares. <sighs> man, so crappy, so crappy. But yeah, uh, guys, it needs a wash. Construction life really, really beats the crap out of the vehicles. I did clean up the engine bay the other day because uh, we had this rain day. So I used this rain day uh, and washed the EL, polished it. Also, I want to show you guys the clean freaks. I may have, you may have seen some posts on the gram and everything. That's what I'm going to be doing going on for like Apiro, merch, everything. That's what my committed merch line is going to be. Uh, just, you know, everyone that supports it, I'm going to obviously repost your pictures of your cars with it or whatever you guys get. Because I want to give you guys a shout out too because you guys make all this possible. And I appreciate every single one of you that takes the time to watch my videos, like and everything. And, uh, you know what I mean? Even though it's a slow progress, it's still progress and I've been enjoying it. And I, I hope you guys continue to stay and enjoy uh, as we keep adding onto the channel, more vehicles and everything. So, yeah, guys, we're, we're not done. Uh, just things take time, you know what I mean? Uh, YouTube's not only everything, you know, I have a family, I have work. So, I'm trying to balance it all out. Sometimes it gets very uh, challenging and um, stressful. So, yeah, hopefully you guys stick around still and you guys keep enjoying the content. And like I said, I got far, a lot of plans for the V and the other builds and then I'd like to add more like an older school gen Honda to the channel one day uh, but when we cross that bridge we cross that bridge but for now I'm gonna finish drinking my coffee wait for Mercer to show up let the CRV cool down so we could drain the oils and everything and then start doing this uh, beautiful front lip on it show you guys how we're gonna do it uh, like obviously people have seen it on the second gen CRV and it looks fucking wicked, wicked. And then I still got the wing, got the exhaust, so many things I still have to do to this thing. So little time. But yeah, guys, I'm so pumped. Man, I really like how that tire looks. I should get the rest of them. Just saying. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? What do you think of this Cooper tire? It's like the cheapest tire Canadian tire I had. And it looks so badass. So I just say fuck it and go get three more. Let me know down below, guys. Come on, get more active in the comments, please. All right, boys, we're here with the homie. It's been a hot minute. What's up, everybody? And as you guys can tell, this guy's been busy. It's busy season for him now. This is where everybody's trying to bring out the cars and get everything situated on their builds. So this man has been everybody going loves crazy during the winter. Yep. And then want to go crazy and have during the spring. Because they don't think anybody else wants to bring out their cars. They think just they're the ones that are priority. So I'm really glad we took advantage of nobody wanting to do nothing in the winter time because we got to do a lot in the winter time. Yeah. Uh, so that's a plus. Um, so at some time in the upcoming weeks, we are going to be putting our Honda K uh, our K tuner on our automatic K swap Mugen EL and all the other little things that we have to do and we are both looking forward to that because this man's gonna give a, a little street tune. Yeah, that'll be something pretty cool. And no fucking pop, 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 pop tunes. Those things are crappy in game. Yeah, but as you guys can see, Kevin's just putting out some tape right now as he always does before we do any kind of cutting because uh, we're gonna have to line up the lip. So basically, this bottom portion of the lip, we're gonna have to trim a lot of it out to give it the flex that we need. And then you gotta make incisions along the bumper for the tabs to slide in. And usually what people do is they put um, 
what do you call those screws again? Self tappers. Self tappers, yes. But this man, he hates self tappers. Last time I used self tappers on the spooniest one, I heard it for the whole summer. Every time he saw me with the spooniest one. And he would always remind me that, you know, your side skirts were like this close from flying off you. So, no self tappers. We got a, another better idea. Yeah. But yeah. An alternative, yes. I like when Kevin uses these big words. These massive words. All right, man. That's it. That's our new lip, green line tape. How do you guys like it? <laughs> That's our new lip. Uh, so, yeah. Like. Basically, we're using that so that way we can make the markings of where the tabs go so we know more or less where to cut. Uh, you want to do it as low as possible because right here it flares and you need meat for it to, you know, have meat to drill to secure it. Yeah, sounds about right. He's probably thinking, he's like, the fucking things you got me doing on a Saturday. Um, it's it's gonna be weird, but let's try it. Let's see what it, how it comes out. If it comes out like shit. Comes out like shit. Comes out like shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. uh, it's the only way I, uh, from what I've seen and how everybody has told me in the CRV community how to do it. And the lip does look really badass on the car. Kevin just does not feel how. He has no, like, he doesn't like how it looks on the side because it stops right here. It doesn't look completed. But, uh, yeah. It's, it's like a half fuck. It's not even a full fuck. Sometimes you just have to half fuck it. Half fuck it. <laughs> Sometimes there's just not enough time. Do, do a full fuck, okay? A hundred percent. Let's try it, man. Let's do this. safety glasses on and I'm squinting my eyes yeah I noticed that but like there's also something I want to let you know that? that I've taken like I've seen this the last few times you've had to cut anything you have a sadistic weird smile when you're cutting into something it's amazing. There's it, no turning back yeah there's definitely no turning back now hey boys so Kevin's just drawing out a line of how much meat, pause on the meat, he wants to remove so we can get some flexibility out of the lip. Uh, we tested one of the tabs inside his incision. Looks okay. Also, this was on the lip. I don't know if this is of any importance, but that's the part number to this. So. Maybe that's the part number. Oh, here you go, that's the part number. My bad. Yeah, that's the part number. T dash or slash. So and screenshot that. That's where. Uh, oh, hey, take it easy, man. Take it easy, man. He's getting excited, man. He's getting excited. Uh, I've been wanting to do this all winter, but I waited. Yeah, man. Let's freehand cut this, man. Yeah, let's freehand cut it. Those are usually the best ones. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the strokes. Look at man. Yo, if you guys honestly. <laughs> If you guys pause that image, <laughs> this guy's packing, bro. This guy's packing. Uh, good times, good times. Always packing. Always packing. Also, guys, ta da! That is the Mercer built S2K. After we're done with this, I'll give you guys a nice little look around Z on this thing. Guys, Kevin did a phenomenal job free cutting it, as you guys can see. So I uh, cut about an inch. Let me see, show you guys. So I cut about an inch, inch 
on the middle and then I kind of tapered it out to the mm -hmm. side which is more than an inch it's like an inch and almost a half yep on each side uh, but we're still probably gonna cut it a little bit more you see how I have some markings but I don't want to cut that because if I cut that right now it might show I'm only gonna do that once I have it fitted and I have the curvature yep and then I'll be able to figure out like give it like a smile yeah like, like get it nice the end nice. of the smile yeah oh, like a joker yeah yeah but uh, also as you can see well, like to fit this i would say lay out your tape first mm -hmm. then find your happy Sense. spot where you want to uh install it whether it's going to be like high low whatever yep. medium we found our happy spot we centered it we made an incision and like thick enough to fit, fit all the way through this tab okay and wide enough to fit the tab and now, because it's centered, we can fit it and have a general stand back idea. And look at this mustache. It looks like a mustache. You right? know who the had a mustache? Must well, you, now your beard's mustache. your beard's uh, yeah. your beard's I had a mustache. Yeah, a yeah, it was a great ago. mustache, actually. Yeah. Uh, I bet you Michelle hated it. She did. <laughs> uh, but yo, honestly, I think it's gonna look fucking wicked. So it's gonna look like that. And now that it's mounted, then you can come and you'll see your gen. I mean, you'll have your general idea of where the tabs are gonna be. Yep. So, like you know, mark your area of where you gotta make some cuts. So, I'm gonna make some cuts around there. I think one of these, maybe this one, is gonna stay. But I think this one has to be removed. Yeah, because you're gonna have that's to where bend the it, curve right? Is gonna be. Yeah, and then this one has to stay, obviously, right? So I'm gonna put an X there, but most likely that you'll yeah. see in the next clip but i think that's going to be cut yeah. this one's going to stay because it's going to probably be hold on to there yep there but yeah so, this is what it's looking like and can i get your uh, general thesis of this what you're thinking of it yay or nay i mean at first i was like mm. but now that you're seeing it kind of yeah, on I'm seeing it, it, yeah, it flows with the bumper my my I next question. See this. Like pictures don't do justice when you see oh, them. Oh yeah, on the side. Yeah. It's either like people are still using like Nokia flip phones or Motorola flip phones for the pictures. True. The pictures are horrible. But uh, my my next question I wanted to ask you: all black bumper, with like this, or silver and then the black trim? I'm a fan of the full body color. Me too. Full body color. Eventually. Yeah, but yo, if you look at it, like right here. Right here, like with your face in it, with the aggressiveness of the lip. Sexy. Grab this mustache onto your face, like the Dr. Robotnik style one. Oh, that was awesome! That's yeah. amazing. Uh, all right, guys, we're gonna go back to work and then uh, carry on with our, uh, uh, our funny conversations. We'll pick up the camera once we have some more progress. All right, boys, so we got a couple more tabs cut in. Kev cut out the tab on this side and on this side, leaving just this one. There are these little, I don't know if they're called tabs or something, like I guess like a little spacer on it. Kevin shaved them off. Uh, I, I think you have to do yeah. this one. So these little things right here, right? Yeah. So Kev shaved off this one, this one, this one. And then you just, it, in between every single yeah, one. Except for one. this one. I think he just wanted to leave this one because it's the center. Uh, no, I wanted to leave it so we could show them. But I'm going oh. to get rid of it too. Oh, I'm so stupid. Uh, yeah, so he's going to take out that one. Uh, we've... Uh, seen after test fitting it and wrapping it around yeah uh he's but he's gonna is. yeah so he's gonna show us like so it slides in like this it's nice tight firm uh fitment right yeah. so when you go to push it like this it's still being it bulges in the yeah. front so what kevin's gonna do is gonna take a little bit more meat off in the bottom yeah, so that way maybe another like half inch yeah uh it doesn't buy uh yeah it doesn't like bulge bind bull whatever mm -hmm. My Spanglish. It's and depending how it is, we might just chop this off right here. We might not even need it, to be honest with you, right? See. We'll see how it goes, though. I'm right? going to do the corner. I'm going to trim it so it we get more flexibility. More flex. mm -hmm. And then we're going to do the corners. The edges. Yep. But honestly, guys, like, yo, if you look at it from here, boys, just from here, right? Obviously, it's going to sit more down like this, right? It honestly looks really nice. It looks rad. I, I'm loving it. Kev's doing a, a great job giving the crv a uh, nice moustache look at that moustache oh. dr robotnik over here oh. <laughs> all, right, let's all right let's do this all right boys kevin busted out the dremel to make a little incision there for this little tab right here that's gonna kind of hook and lock in yeah we're gonna try this or try to yeah try we're gonna get that in there i think i might have to just 
chop it off. Cut it slightly? Oh, yeah. Try to get a little more? But, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, might have to trim the bottom a little bit. I think we might have to trim the bottom a little bit more. But, uh, yeah. Little flimsy pee pee. Flimsy pee pee. Uh, we are busting out the classic Mercer built sweaters today. Nice, very nice. So yeah, guys, that's how it wraps around. It honestly, that looks phenomenal. And then obviously we gotta go remove the bumper and drill in to make it lockable. But guys, honestly, like yo, Kevin, if you take a step back, you can see that actually looks really nice. Uh, I, I know. Have to trim it a bit underneath. I think yeah. I think we gotta eliminate the whole lip. And just keep it like right up to here. Maybe. Maybe just uh, cause like that give little it that flex. Yeah, just to give it a little bit more of that flex. You see, cause it just wants to. It's well, like bowing. Right? Yeah, not not as much as it was before though, right? Remember when before we took out that half inch, it was bowing even further, right? Cut this out. It's looking good, boys. It's looking good. Side profile. Oh yeah. But it's this is a nice lip. Whoever came up with the idea of putting this lip on the CRV and coming up with this idea of making it work, you guys, I give you guys an A plus to the member on that CRV group. Guys, that that looks phenomenal, dude. I dig it. I dig it. Kev. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. Let's get in there. Looking a lot better, boys. All right, guys. So we got the bumper off the car on the horse. Kev is just fine cleaning the edges of all the the cuts. So he's already made a look to see what exactly we have to uh, screw it into. Kevin is uh, putting. The bolts with washer. We're gonna add, we're adding some weight. Oh man, I'm sorry, man. These things are so good that I'm eating these berry timbits that your girlfriend so kindly brought us. Yeah, man, they're awesome. Oh man, you're the best girlfriend ever, man. Uh, I yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. Yeah, she's my best girlfriend. Yeah. She's the fastest. Choke. Guys, I'm gonna show you something on on Diogo's phone. The fastest oh. show car guy right here. See that? Okay, see him working very hard. He bent. Tag, tag him if you know who that is. He bent his knees for this picture. <laughs> I don't see his underwear. <laughs> All right, boys. So as you guys can see, the bumper is upright on the. This guy in his Portuguese soccer. They're losing. Oh, Diogo's here, by the way, with his fresh uh, Cloud Boy sunglasses. Uh, so we got the lip mounted on. Somewhat. Somewhat. Majority right. of it. Uh, safe to say, I think this side is pretty much completed. Jesus Christ. This thing uh, just fell off. Yeah. There's yeah, a, the we caught a nasty stone chip right to it. Sad. Oh, no. Yeah. So we're, I'm going to walk you through to what Kevin has done so far. So he's going to recorrect this side. So what Kevin has done on this side is we heated it up with um, a heat gun on the plastic tab. I was putting pressure on the other side folding it downward and then Kevin made a bunch of drills and he uh, zip tie stitched it on this side on the corner so it fit better and we are going to be replicating the exact same thing on this side 
because uh, we tried with a bolt and nut and it just wasn't working. And okay, what's the question? What? That is for the stock intake suction thing. So why is it closed on the gross? But I didn't design this stuff, bro. You need to make holes. What? You need to make holes on the gross. No, man, I have an actual intake now. You need a hot air intake? I'm gonna kick you in the balls, bro. This is what happens when you get a Volkswagen guy trying to talk about Honda stuff. It's Screw you, man. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right, guys. So, showing you what Kevin did on the left side over here. Yogo is giving us an assist right now by holding in the pressure so I can get this on camera for you guys. And it looks like a union job. It's, it's 100% a city worker job. Yeah, it's a union job. It is like a union job. A hundred percent. Oh. Oh, careful. Some zip ties. That looks phenomenal. So now we're gonna zip tie stitch it, so that way it's nice and sturdy. Uh, zip ties are a beautiful thing. They're the greatest thing man yeah. ever invented. I mean, like they're actually really durable. They actually hold a mean, lot, no, believe it or not. Shows up, gets in your way. Yeah. Uh, here is a failed attempt at putting uh, uh, a jack back to its spot. That's not how it works, yeah. right? I know, I know, It's, uh... Make sure. Yep. There you go. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Perfect parallel parking. Good job. You rattled him. I rattled him. Yeah, you rattled him. Yeah, yeah. So, as you guys can see, uh, now Kevin is placing these zip ties in uh, accordance to its holes. Fantastic. This is Kevin's dog. His name is Ace. It's a beast. But he's so look at those eyes, so beautiful. Beast. 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 What are you doing? He's just like asking yeah, you guys. My dogs ignore you. Yeah, I love it. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, my dog ignores me all the time. Yeah. I'm like Max, move out of the way. And he's just like he just lies there. What is this? Shitsu. Cock spaniel. Oh. Half. Same shit. Shitsu. I know you love cock. That's spanking you. That's a dog. That's cock, 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 cock. Half, cock. half. Cock. He's a shitty cock. He's a half cock? Half cock. So Benfica scored, eh? No. It's yeah. Benfica, bro. No way. Zero, zero still. Oh, are you Outside. serious, man? See the Let's referees are Fuck. referees are against us, bro. Porto Spain, fucking way. All right, boys. So we are done. Kevin's just putting everything back to see how it fits. The one thing he's not really happy about, and I don't know if anybody else has had this issue, uh, is the flushness over here. It, we can't. This is as flush as we can get it. Uh, his OCD is like bothering him. I told him, yo, I'm, I'm, dude, it's okay, man. It looks good. For a lip that's not supposed to be on this car, it came out really good. Yep, I got the approval from those two guys. Uh, as you guys, this is Ender. He's part of the team now. I expect much. So we're breaking his YouTube virginity. Say hi to the people on YouTube, bro. Hello. Yeah. What? Not so profound, bro. What the hell? Hello. <laughs> the hell, man. <laughs> Hello. So monotone. Sound like Mark. <laughs> but yeah, guys, uh, that's how it's sitting. It looks really nice. I, I'm really happy with it. So Definitely got it. What's that? Really the grill? Yeah. Really heavy. Uh, yeah. Uh, we're going to get to the oil change now. And then we will put it on the floor. And I will show you guys the car outside off the hoist and everything. Uh, I really like it. So I can't explain how happy I am with this front lip on the, on the V. Uh, big shout out to the homie Mercer for taking this, uh, taking this task of mounting it. Because... I, I, I didn't feel comfortable doing it. Yes. It is, it is. But I, I'm not comfortable doing stuff like this. And Kevin did an incredible job just because this guy's 
not afraid to take on no, we should jobs try like this. Me. What's that, bro? That little filler. Yes, uh, I need you to order me that, actually. Maybe we can try that yeah. out and it might fill this gap. Because I also want to do it for where the fog light is, right? Because the one that came it with it. And it might look... So if, my lip decent? if you could order me a roll of that, because I also need it for the new lip for the Civic. Yeah, we'll do it in black. Yeah. And we'll try that out, man. But guys, look good. the lip looks phenomenal on this car. Uh, we we definitely got to go a little bit lower on the front end. Yep. New front end rear, a little bit lower. Yeah, half inch all the way around, I think. Yeah. Maybe an inch to the front. I would say. Yeah, give it a bit of a rake. Yeah, the body line, if you follow it, it kind of does have a bit of a rate. Yeah, so we'll definitely do that. Uh, but so. we'll do that when we do the brake lines and everything, when they come in. But all in all, it, the car looks phenomenal. It just needs a nice wash. And, man, I think i got to get three more Cooper tires. That tire yeah, really man, that tire, that tire looks look really good. nice. Guys, I'm, like, super happy. A big thank you to Mercer, as always. Uh, guys, Very also, nice. follow the new merch brand, Clean Freaks. Um, Very nice. We want to show, like, we want to give you guys your flowers too, man, and show you your clean builds all over. But man, look how nice this lip looks, man. It looks like Evil Bender from Futurama. I love it. <laughs> oh man, looks really good. Typees are really dirty. This car needs a wash. Ender, what do you say, bro? Looks good. I think it completes the front end. It, looks good. it definitely does. Shout out to the guy that... Yeah, whichever person on the uh, on the CRV second gen group that came up with this idea, you guys, yo, know, shout out to you, man, if you're watching. It looks amazing. Yeah, great idea, man. So, we're gonna pretty much close it off here. Tomorrow is the Honda Super Meet, and I'm taking Ashley and the family in the spooniest one, just because the Mugini L. We gotta do some some little things on the Mugini L. Uh, you gonna do some coverage? Oh, of course I'm gonna do some coverage. 100%. I'm gonna be vlogging the drive up there. Well, Ashley's gonna be recording while I'm driving. Sweet. Uh, and then cover some of the racing, some of the show cars. Just make the day of it with the family and everything like that. And then uh, come back. To all the moms, happy Mother's Day. Yeah, and happy Mother's Day to all the moms. That's right. Um, and then uh, hopefully, like in the upcoming weeks, days, we bring in the E out. This is uh, the one little issue we have with the throttle body. We gotta a type S throttle body for it now so we're gonna go back to stock because I feel it's gonna be better for the auto tranny uh, gonna hit the junkyard to get some other things and then we got the K tuner boys yeah I, I can't wait for that up and coming uh, cool stuff yep and then we got more V stuff we got the exhaust which we're really gonna get to I promise you when yeah, he has the time when he has the time and then we also have the OEM style spoiler to put back on and then, is it the OEM one? Yeah, it's the old, the no, it's the OEM one. There's that Modulo one that some guy has. I thought that's the one. No, yo, that thing is nice, man. I thought that was the, I was on the impression when you said wing, I was on the impression. Oh, the Modulo one? Yeah. So no, no, no. That no. One, no oh, I, I got the OEM style one for a really good price, and then, you know, we painted it myself. I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. Cool. So, yeah, guys, thank you for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks, guys, for the support. All his info is in the, the video below, like always. Make sure to follow him on Instagram and see what he's up to. Uh, and uh, this guy, I think he has an Instagram. I'll put it down below. Yeah, buddy, in there? Yeah, yeah, definitely. 100%. All right, boys, to the next one. Peace. Later.